Hello, I'm Will Sampson from Cabinet Maker FDM. We're in the shop today to talk about utility knives. Now, who among us hasn't had one of these cheap utility knives that as soon as you use it, the blade retracts as soon as you push into it? So it's about time somebody came up with really good utility knives, and the folks at Irwin are trying to do so. They've got a selection of three new knives that are all folding knives. They work a lot like a fine folding pocket knife. You can open them one-handed like that and there's your knife. This first one, we'll zoom in so you can see it. This one is their model uh, uh, FK100 and uh, it all of them, them use a locking system that's a liner lock right here. Just move that over and then it comes down. And uh, like I said, they work great one-handed like that. Um, if you're a lefty, they will work just as well. Opening on the left side, you may have a little more difficulty closing it, but it's just something that you'll figure out. So it's great. This one, the, the 100 model, is uh, skeletonized sides and it's just bare bones. It's just the uh, side plates, a belt clip which is also skeletonized, and uh, the blade. And then uh, moves up from there to model FK150 and uh, this one uh, has the same one-handed opening and uh, the same liner lock. It has a solid belt clip. The big difference is it has solid side panels and it has a little compartment on the top so there's some extra blade storage right here. Speaking of blade storage, all these knives have the same system. The blade is solidly locked in place until you move it to this 45 degree angle like this and then there's a little button up here and that unlocks it and you can pull it out and change the blade around put in a new blade and locks securely in place ready to work again very handy then the uh, top of the line is this uh, 250 model FK250 and uh, again, one-handed opening, same setup, same, same blade lock, liner lock and blade lock. Um, but this one has a couple extra tricks. It's a beefier handle, and at the end, let me close it down here so you can see this better. At the end, there is, right here, pulls out a hex blade hex bit mount so you can have a, a screwdriver there and it works as a 90 degree type like that or as a conventional type and uh, in addition locking lid opens up and there's extra blade storage here plus you can put in another hex bit so there's like a Robertson square drive here and then the Phillips and it's uh, real easy to just change them out just like on a regular hex bit driver so, great, great little features there. Now, the only thing that I have to say about all of these that I don't like on them is, it's, and it's a very minor issue, um, is the belt clip. I think it's mounted in the opposite place of where I would like it. And I'll show you why. We'll zoom back out here. If I'm going to put one of these knives in my pocket and clip it in my pocket, when I pull it out, I'm going to have the business end here. And if I want to open it, I've got to rotate it around and then open it. Just slows the process down. I'd much rather be pulling it out of my pocket with the business end pointing forward so that I can do it. So maybe the folks at Irwin will come out with a, the next model. I'll, be able to move the uh, the clip. All of these 
have a, a good solid locking button on here uh, for the clip, which makes it great for holding the clip in place and not rotating, but you can't move it to the other side because it doesn't have that, that pin. So that's my only complaint on these. They're spectacular improvements over the, the cheap utility knives like that that we've used for years. Um, and they don't cost very much at all. You know, we're talking uh, under $15 for the most expensive one, under $10 for the, the, the bare bones lightweight one. And they're great knives. So definitely something to check out. They're available through uh, most of the, the common tool supplies and online. Um, and uh, uh, that's what we've got for today. You can see lots more tool reviews at cabinetmakerfdm.com and in the pages of our magazine. Uh, thanks for watching.